Hey brothers and sisters, it's Francis Santa Rosa. I'm just uh, coming on to do a short, quick video before I go into the gym. It's not part two of Tongues yet. That'll come later this afternoon. Uh, but it's something I, I, um, I just felt like I needed to share. And, um, you know, part of what we do here in uh, this ministry is healing. And what God showed me was that it's a great way to preach the word. And then God showed me today where he shows exactly in his word where the two are connected. And it goes like this. I'm in Acts uh, chapter 4, uh, verse 29. Now, um, to set it up, uh, Peter and John had been uh, uh, detained uh, and told not to preach in the name of Jesus. And they were just like, well, you know, <laughs> we, we got to do what we got to do. <laughs> Whether it's right to listen to you or listen to God, you know, we got to listen to God. So they chastised them and they let them go. And then when they went back to their their friends, uh, this is what happened. This is what went on. You know, they, they glorified God and they were talking about all the marvelous things and, and the people they got to minister to. And it says this. It says, uh, and being let go, they went to their own companions and reported all that the chief priests and the elders had said to them. So when they heard that, they raised their voice to God with one accord and said, Lord, you are God who made heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, who by the mouth of your servant David said, why did the nations rage and the people plot vain things? The kings of the earth took their stand, and the rulers were gathered together against the Lord and against his Christ. Now, how about that? David, this is 500 years before Jesus, is talking about Jesus. You know, he says, against the Lord and against his Christ. I thought that was pretty interesting. For truly, this is verse 27 now. That was 20, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Now, in verse 27, it says, For truly against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles and the people of Israel were gathered together to do whatever your hand and your purpose determined before to be done. This is where the, what the Lord showed me. Now, Lord, look on their threats. Right here. And grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word. So the first part is to grant boldness to your servants, your children, to speak his word. That's number one. That's our number one goal. All right. That's our number one objective, is to speak His word. This is where where the two came together, by stretching out your hand to heal. So He's saying, grant us the boldness to speak Your word by stretching out Your hand to heal. You see that, and that's what I've been saying all along, that the healing gives us an opportunity, an open door to do what? To speak his word, to preach his word. Come on, y'all, there's a connection here. Look what he says. He says, Lord, look on their threats. Grant to your servants that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal. Oh, and it gets better than that. And then he says, and, what is and? Also, <laughs> also, so give us the boldness to speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal, okay? And also that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. Now, I don't know about y'all, but see, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That is something you can stand on. That is something you can you can confess before you go to lay hands on somebody and pray for them. You know, that God gives you the boldness to do it uh, and that he shows up by stretching out his hand to heal and performing signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. That's, that's just good word right there. You know, now I, I would, I, if I were you, I would get that, memorize it, and get it in your spirit, and and just re re 
let me say that again, reason within yourself that it's true and it's real and God's word shall not return to him void but shall accomplish what it was sent to do and that he will uphold his word even above his own name and his word says that he will stretch out his hand and heal and show signs and wonders and miracles through the name of Jesus but it goes on and I almost stopped reading there but I, I kept reading and I got this and when they had prayed the place they were assembled together was shaken and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they spoke spoke the Word of God with boldness now wait a minute now wait whoa 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 hold on what do you mean they were all filled with the Holy Spirit I thought they were already filled with the Holy Spirit this is before this is after they were in the upper room after Jesus you know ascended into heaven and the Holy Spirit came upon them and and they all spoke in new tongues and and Peter went out and preached the the best sermon of his life and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit there but what's going on here again they're filled with the Holy Spirit see is there being filled with the Holy Spirit and filled with the Holy Spirit that's what it's kind of telling me because weren't they all filled with the Holy Spirit and they're filled with the Holy Spirit. I thought that was kind of interesting. I thought that was kind of interesting. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with y'all. And um, later this afternoon, I'll be doing the second uh, part of, of Tongues. And um, it's going to get good today. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good today. Y'all want to get this. Y'all want to know what's going on with Tongues how it works, why it works, and what are the benefits. A lot of people don't understand the benefits. Why Why would I speak in tongues? Well, you know what? When you hear why, you're going to want to speak in tongues all the time. What did Paul say? I wish you all spoke in tongues like I did. He said, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. Always. Praying always in the Spirit. We're always supposed to be praying in the Spirit. Continually. Anyways, I'm going to let you go. Just wanted to do that short, quick video. Seven minutes, short video for me. <laughs> uh, but let's let's look at it again. It says, he says, Now, Lord, grant to your servants, your children, that with all boldness they may speak your word by stretching out your hand to heal. And that signs and wonders may be done through the name of your Son. Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen? Talk to you later. Bye.